Giovanna, when you walk up, this tree actually looks suspended. Luckily, the drivers of both of these cars were not inside when that tree fell. We have video of that actual moment, but the most amazing thing is we spoke to the driver of this car, and he said he had just gotten out before this happened. Drew Kosak took pictures of the tree slowly sinking deeper into the roof of his car, a 2004 Infinity. Yeah, a little bit of rain and fell over. Kosak lives down the street and had called this parking spot ideal until this morning. I had just parked the car and then I went to go home. Moments after he made it inside his apartment, the surveillance video caught a tree falling over and slamming into his parked car. One of the traffic officers told me that I should file a claim with the city. The reason is the tree's roots. The tree, the roots obviously aren't very strong and they should have been longer, but apparently whenever they put in the new sidewalks, they cut off the roots so that the sidewalk lies flat. And it's something that caught the attention of this apartment manager a year and a half ago. We knew already that that could be an issue because they were um, dry and with the, this fungi thing. The person she contacted through the city's 311 service said there wasn't any budget money for tree removal. Today, COSAC says the city's public works department told them they've been busy removing trees, limbs, and debris from all over because of last night's storm, a storm which brought heavy rain, lightning, and even thunder in some Southern California locations. But this car owner realizes how lucky he is, and he isn't giving up on getting the city's help. I mean, there's a tree that belongs to the city on top of my car, so hopefully they can do something about that. Drew Kosak doesn't have comprehensive coverage, which means he does not have coverage for weather-related items. The LADWP has put up barricades. They are expected to be back out here tomorrow to clean up this mess. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.